if somebody's not paying your bills and making sure that you good then they have no commentary about how i'm gonna make my money okay so hey creators welcome to the studio i'm aramis the artist okay we get in the studio together okay let me show you okay I don't think I had, I might have mentioned it in a vlog randomly, but I'm gonna take y'all a little bit back in time so I can show you how Andy built this. You quick, babe, so that's in here, huh? No. It's, it's attached to the beam, but the uh, two by four is attached. Okay. And that's literally holding all of the frames and the stretcher bars. Now, of course, that's not all of them because we still have paintings here. Hold on. If you are new here, welcome, boo. Okay, I'm Aramis Hamer. I'm an artist out here in Seattle, Washington. And I recently finished up a huge Zodiac series. We just finished up the Sacred Circle celebration. That was the vlog previously. So now... We started a new series, okay? We started a new series and we started a new vibe and it's really gonna be inspired around blooming into the person that we wanna become, becoming the highest versions of ourselves. And truly for me, my journey as a, as a full-time artist for these past seven years, it has been an up and down roller coaster. And so now I feel like, let me adjust you. Oh, okay. Now I feel like I'm finally coming into my own and I really wanna have a series that honors that. But in the process of doing that, I'm trying to get my space together, okay? So so these were the paintings that were in the Zodiac series. So the ones that's hanging up at the top, these were actually the biggest paintings, which is Aquarius and Gemini. What are we doing today? We're actually meeting a collector. Oh, first, <laughs> first of all, shout out to my collectors. Shout out to my patrons as well. The Sacred Circle event was so, so amazing. I recently did a broadcast actually where I talk about that. So I'll link that y'all. What y'all thinking about the hair? Okay. <laughs> It's a journey. If you are new here, you might not know I have locks under here. I said, let's let's try to experiment, okay? So I've been watching some YouTube videos of doing some lock knots, so y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see that, but whatever. Yeah, your girl got her scarf. Do y'all remember these scarves? Actually, actually really like this, I'm vibing. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. Who's on their way? Nina, Nina is on her way. Nina is a patron and she also purchased the Sankofa painting, so thank you so much to Nina. <laughs> y'all like what happened you see this it's like a hole in it and it's like all, all three in the same spot as if like it was hit in the same spot I, whatever it don't matter we keeping these okay we'll use those boxes to go to family or something let me grab a fresh one get your get your feelings out of it so we are getting ready for the holiday season if you are an artist entrepreneur small business owner then you are probably doing the same thing it's about that time y'all i'm super geek because like we're doing something different this year okay if you aren't new here then you might know that i don't like shipping stuff okay it's like a it's like a love I don't wanna say hate, because that's such a strong word. It's like a love dislike, okay? And I just don't like, I just don't like people waiting on me. I don't like people depending on me. <laughs> like, 
I just like living this life free and flowy, like I truly do and yeah, yeah. But I also know that people are paying customers and like want their stuff so totally, right? So like we, ne we never slip up out here. Like we definitely make sure that people always get their stuff. But this is definitely gonna be the last year of us doing big things with the Zodiac series. Like this entire year was, was just Zodiac. It was, it, was ev it was everything Zodiac, everything astrology. So now we are bringing it to a close. But for everybody who's been on that journey, we are gonna do Zodiac gift boxes. Okay, specifically for the holiday season, which I think is gonna be really fun. So pretty much, y'all, I have these boxes, right? Your girl got her logo on it. I'm gonna drop the link to the company that I use. Completely forgot, but I really do like the boxes. So this is what we are gonna use for the gift boxes. Um, pretty much element themed boxes. So we got like a fire sign, a water sign, an air sign, and an earth sign. And so so with the fire sign, we doing the candles, like all three of the candles are gonna go in there. So I was just getting an accurate count as to how many candles we have. So pretty much with the holiday box, the fire theme box will have three, all three of the candles. And of course this will be cushioned, this will be wrapped. With the fire box, it's gonna have all three candles. In the water boxes, I was thinking like Aquarius, like the water bearer, so like a bag or a clutch. So with the water boxes, we are doing um, clutch bags in that box. And then with the earth sign, we're doing, this earth pink paper, right? Think like notebook stationery. So in the earth sign box, it's gonna be three different notebooks that you can select from. Okay, y'all. So I was confusing the head. That was all confusing. Okay, so let's scratch all that. For real, I really do appreciate y'all feedback on this. So we are going to do one Zodiac gift box. The same things are going to be in the box, which is a candle, a clutch bag, a notebook, and um, three matching greeting cards. The same thing is gonna be in every box, but you get to decide what sign is gonna be in there. So if you might know, with my Patreon community, I was sending them greeting cards every month, a three set greeting card. And so this is gonna be now available to the public. Oh, I love these. <laughs> I love these, can y'all see them? The way I'm gonna set it up in the shop is like, if you get a Leo, a Gemini, and a Virgo, you gonna get a Gemini greeting card to match your candle, a Virgo greeting card, which match this one, and then a Leo greeting card, which match this one. I can't remember if I've ever showed y'all the clutch bags. I kinda stopped promoting those for a minute, not for any particular reason. They're actually really beautiful. Do I have any kinda laying around? Oh, here it is. This one is a special one. It, this was like an example one, but clutch bags are similar to this. Ooh, okay, body, yaddy, yaddy. <laughs> the clutch bags are like this, and it has a strap, which I absolutely love. Oh, and then the notebooks. Do I have an example to show y'all? Okay, y'all, so <laughs> I be sampling stuff all the time. I sampled these notebooks a while back, and I was like, yes, I'm in love with these, okay? Like, I just... This been, this been my little notebook, not not me, not me in the cover. This is not gonna be it, y'all. This is, this is not gonna be it. This is just a sample I made for me, okay? Unless y'all want, want my picture in the front, probably not. So this say, cause you's a badass boss artist bitch. <laughs> Why am I ratchet, y'all? This one I did like a grid paper, but for the shop, when they launch, I'ma probably just do them blank. Actually, y'all like, let, let me know. Do you think for the note, I feel like if it's blank, you just got so many more options. You know, like you can draw lines if you want. I just I just like it blank, actually. For this one, I just wanted to see how the grid will look. The notebook that I actually use on a daily is this spiral notebook that my mom got me. Y'all y'all know she always makes sure that I remember little baby Jesus, okay? The Lord is my strength and my shield, amen, okay? So mom got this one from Ross. I love it. I'm actually, y'all, I, I journal. I journal every morning. Like, this is how much I've written. <laughs> how much I've written. This is how much I have left. But I love with a spiral notebook that you can bend it all the way back. You know what I mean? Let me know what y'all like. So that's what's gonna be available in the different boxes. <sighs> By the time this go live, let me see. What's my content schedule? <laughs> Today is September 24th. Y'all gonna see this video the first week of October. Ooh, so you getting a little heads up. You getting, a, you getting a head start. I'm gonna be launching these boxes. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put all these dates here on the screen and we gonna have it in the mothership and we gonna have it on the gram, the YouTube. We literally gonna have this stuff everywhere, but I just wanna make sure that y'all get first access to this. You'll probably see some of this stuff on the public YouTube video, video as well because um, I just wanna make sure that y'all see it, you know? Oh, 
<laughs> Nina and her husband just left. So sweet. Congratulations, Nina. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm so, I'm so excited for them and super grateful. Y'all, we diving back in. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I pretty much like threw some of the items in there and kind of just seeing what the weight of this would be. So three pounds and 3.5 ounces is this right how much was in here so that's like roughly what the weight is gonna be actually i don't think i use this fire because this one was like really heavy this would actually be like the weight of what the notebooks would be okay so we're looking at two pounds and 13 and this would be <laughs> not me with my senegal book on how to learn wall of. okay <laughs> cool so now that i have like the weights of some of this stuff this gives me an idea of how much price range for what these um gift boxes would be but y'all shipping is shipping is really something else as the youtube community expands i want to be able to offer international shipping they're excited okay the reality is just like the shipping is just so crazy and it's always something with international shipping so i'm just trying to figure it out together okay y'all first of all it's been a minute since during that time um clearly she has taken down her lock knots y'all that was so much fun okay if you follow me on the gram do you probably saw how curly my hair got the curls have actually fallen and i'm here for this too like this is super cute i'm gonna definitely link the video below because i see that there's quite a few lock queens that follow me i've been creeping on y'all i've been creeping on y'all okay so welcome everybody it's just so fun seeing the tube team community grow so y'all know i stay driving <laughs> on the road so the, the lighting is gonna go in and out but what are we doing okay frolicking in the backyard y'all we are so close to getting the backyard bathtub sanctuary together and so i've just really been intentional about creating sacred space for myself and so i think i'm gonna make a video about that like i really want to just share that process and share that journey because it's just been super healing for me and just really like allowing myself the space to relax rest reset and create and so i've just really been seeing how important space has been for me and just how that can really cultivate the time you need to either rest or create when you actually set the stage for it you know so that's also what we are doing in the studio <laughs> you know what relax remember your mantra be gentle with yourself as if you're a flower petal, okay? Y'all, this is the bloom season. I was talking to the to the co-creators about that over there on Patreon. Y'all, first of all, shout out, shout out to the co-creators, okay? We had so much fun on the last create date and they were giving me so much feedback on um, these Zodiac gift boxes. They helped so much. We keeping it real simple and plain, okay? Sometimes when you give folks too many options, it's confusing, okay? Then people have like decision paralysis. I know that I do. I know if it's, if it's too much, I can't, you know, I just can't. And we getting ready for Q4, y'all. If, if y'all are artists or, or small business owners, let me know, let me know in the comments. Um, so I'm sharing my process about how we are preparing and a lot of it comes down to marketing, content, social media. But what I found to be even more important than all of that, just spewing shit at the world, okay? Cause like we just already inundated with so much information. I'm just such a like, community driven person that I found that everything that I have in my career, in my life, in, in, in my relationships has truly been as a result of the relationships that I built and the community that I have fostered. And so for me, this is just a time to not create more content, but to go deeper with my community too. You know what I mean? It's a juggling act for sure. One day at a time, like us all, right? So let me tell y'all how, how the universe work, okay? Because 
because clearly I see that y'all love the story times, okay? Disclaimer, there's no scams, no sketchy stuff. It was all good, okay? But it was like, ooh, is Zoe trying to tell me something with this? Okay, so y'all know I be lost out here trying to figure it out. Let, first of all, let me stop saying that. Words have power. I am not lost. I am gaining clarity day by day, okay? So, <laughs> girl, you try. We try it. We trying. So how I mentioned before in other videos, I'm learning that I wanna sell more originals, okay? That's really my goal. That's really where I'm gonna put my energy towards. And honestly, y'all see, energy grows where energy goes, okay? I've been putting energy there and these originals have been selling and I'm so grateful for my community, collectors, supporters, patrons, all y'all, okay? Love y'all and it just reminds me like, okay, girl, you control the speed. Okay, you are in the driver's seat, you got the wheel, you decide where you need to put your energy to and that's where it's gonna go, okay? So I've been saying that I wanna sell more originals. I'm like, cool, energy's been going there, it's been growing there, I've been selling originals, it's been phenomenal. Here's the other thing though, I was trying to shift back into that mindset around prints. Now y'all, don't get me wrong, first of all, I'm gonna forever sell art prints because I think that they are phenomenal. I'm a collector of art prints, I'm a collector of both originals and art prints but I know in my early journey when I was just starting my collection having access to prints was really helpful for me because I, I love the art I wanted the art in my home and if I wasn't able to buy an original I still want options available okay and actually Chris my, my friend had came to my studio and we were talking about this how galleries try to make artists feel like if you sell prints of your work then you are devaluing the work it's like let First of all, you aren't. And I'm gonna tell y'all this. I thought this, I thought this same way back in the day, okay? I thought like, ooh, I shouldn't sell prints because that's gonna devalue the originals. Y'all, I'm selling originals now from paintings that I created five years ago. But I've been able to make quadruple the money from the from selling prints than I would have from selling that one original. So selling prints had like allowed me to quit my job as a full-time registered nurse and become the full-time artist that I am today. Prints allow artists to actually generate a continuous stream of income so that we can pay our bills out here. When people try to shit on prints, it's like no. <laughs> prints are paying these bills, period. Never that, never come into prints, never, okay? And galleries, and I feel it, gal and not, it, look, if galleries watching this, hey boo, okay, at the end of the day, an original can sit on, on those galleries walls for three months, six months, a year. Artists are still gonna need to generate income because we are parents, friends, families, wives, homeowners, like, you know what I mean? So it's like, no, get your coin, okay? If somebody's not paying your bills and making sure that you good and gonna have food on your table, then they have no commentary about how I'm gonna make my money, okay? So, <laughs> when it comes down to print game, love it. I'm gonna forever have prints, but I do wanna shift my energy towards originals because I feel like, okay, so here's the other side. Selling prints, I felt like kept me, kept me in this marketing mindset. Like, I was like, okay, cool. I'm about to sell these prints, sell these prints. Whereas, I felt like if I was letting go of more originals, then I would, it would almost give me more permission to create more originals because it was like, okay, you running low on originals, make more art. Okay, energy has been going towards the originals. It's been beautiful. But in the process of that, of renovating the studio, <laughs> renovating, <laughs> look, just organizing the studio, rearranging, I was like, okay, right here could be dope. It would be nice to have some flat files. So like, you know, like those like, huge files so you can pull those out and put your prints in there to keep them nice and safe and clean y'all right now the zodiac prints especially the hand sign ones those are really huge and so i'm i'm not comfortable with with the way that i'm storing them they just like on this shelf you know what i mean like i mean yeah we got them in between cardboard and tissue paper and they're okay for the most part but i know that i can store them better so i was like all right let me get some uh flat files so 
Why the minute I think about that, I got an email from one of the artists in my studio. Jun actually, sh shout out to Junko. Okay, love her. She emailed all of us in the studio. She was like, hey, y'all, I have these flat files for sale. I'm ready to get rid of it. I think she had paid like $500 for it. She was selling it for, for $200. Y'all, these flat files are really expensive. And so what she was selling it for was a steal. Okay, an absolute steal. And she was in my studio on the second floor I would literally just have to and it was on wheels I would literally just have to push it down the hallway into my space I was like yes she just manifested this okay okay like yes she ready I emailed her all geeked and excited okay she was like oh I'm so sorry they actually just sold I was like man okay well because she had actually emailed it and I had saw the email like three days later so anyway that was my fault I was like man I missed it that's okay so I go and offer up Here's another flat file. Y'all, vintage oak. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put a picture because this was beautiful, okay? It was absolutely stunning. <sighs> vintage, okay? She wanted 950. I say, ooh, okay, okay, universe. How, how you gonna make this work? Let's see, let's see. <laughs> I don't have the means for that, but it's here. Let me try so I, I was sitting on it for a while. I was like, man, because she also put OBO or best offer. So I was like, okay, but I don't want to. The thing was, like, I didn't want to offend her with a low ball offer. You know what I mean? Because people be trying to bargain with art. And that's how, it, okay, um, that's the talk for another time. Anywho, people trying to bargain with art. But some of the bargain, it's like, don't insult me. Like, ooh, don't, 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 don't do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I was like, okay, let me not offend her with like a super low ball offer because this piece is absolutely beautiful and historic damn near okay so i was like man i was sitting on it for like three days y'all and here i go waiting but whatever i was sitting on it like three days am I, i'm like am i really about to message her because i don't even want to waste her time you know what i mean like i'm not even i don't even want to waste people time out here if you're not about that life don't even waste people time you know so i was like man i was like you know what it's here it must be here for a reason who knows maybe she'll just be like you know what hey artist to artist out here here sis go ahead and have it you know what I'm like i don't know like look y'all i'm gonna tell you this miracles and, and magic is out here every day i feel like magic just follows me okay so i feel, i'm like you never know you just gotta put it out there you never know so i was like you know what i'm a messenger i message her this morning okay i say hey I don't even want to offend you with a with a low ball offer. Is there a specific number that you had in range at the lowest price that you are comfortable with letting this piece go? I was like, all I know is that I want it. Okay, so however we can figure out how to make this work, let's try to make it work. Because the other thing, y'all, she she lived in um in Port Orchard, Washington. So my studio is in Seattle, the um Ballard okay so she's in Port Orchard which is like one of the islands okay you gotta take like a ferry or a bridge like she uh, she's like across the pond okay so I'm like damn Port Orchard and this is big and I'm not gonna rent a van how am I even gonna get this piece to where I'm at but I'm like you know what source always finds a way so let me let me just figure this out and let me just try you know so I hit her up tell her my whole little story right because y'all know clearly I'm long with it <laughs> she was like oh i'm so sorry it just sold last night i forgot to take the um listing down i'm like damn like is it me first of all you waiting too long like stop waiting but also i took a pause i say first of all you said you wanted to sell more originals if you trying to sell more originals why are you trying to find more storage for your art prints Message. that's not adding up so the energies are not are not matching right now. That's why you can't get the flat files for your art prints because you're not about to be having art prints in the studio. Believe that. Literally, y'all, that was the download that I got once I lost another opportunity to get this damn flat file cabinet. I was like, you know what? Ain't that about the truth? <laughs> like, ain't that about the truth? Why are you, why? You clearing your studio, you making more space, you making more room. These flat files are huge. You don't even want prints in your studio anymore. Why are you doing this? I was like, damn, damn. That was a clear ass message, okay? That, that message was clear, okay? So I said, you know what? You right, we done. 
We done looking for flat files. We done, we organizing the studio. We about to get it clear so that she can create and paint more because that's the goal. And so we are optimizing our space so that our goals can become more clear and become more attainable. So that's exactly what I encourage y'all to do on this journey ahead as you are preparing your space, time, and shop, okay, for Q4. All right, Q4, y'all, Q4 is here. It's game time. Celebrando en tu cuarto, sabe agridulce como el impacto, baby. It's a party. Put your drinks up. It might not look like much. <laughs> but we making progress, okay. Let me show y'all the pegboard, whatever these walls are called. Andy installed this the other day for me and it is literally perfect, y'all. I've wanted to have my paintings displayed like this forever and it's finally coming to fruition. It came with all the little accessories to hang the stuff up on the wall and like you just put the little pegs in there. Let me show you, they're actually like, it's like you just put it in there and then the anchor's there and like you can you can hook anything. So I got some of the paintings here. I got them clamped with binder clips. I'm gonna get some gold ones. Shannon was like, get them in gold. Like I'm here for it. But for now I'm like, let's just get them up. You know, <laughs> like we'll, we'll get gold another day. So I kinda got it separated. Okay, the next side is this. Now y'all know I'm always doing something with this with this closet but there was so much stuff in there i'm like let's literally go through everything let's go through it if i'm not using it let's trash it let's get rid of it and let's also figure out how many of these boxes that i have so if y'all curious let me put this here she don't got no bra she got the nips out so <laughs> we're just gonna make sure that we don't have a nip slip, okay? We are gonna use these, so Nalisha counted them for us. We got about 90 of these. And then over here, Nalisha's getting this organized for us. This is gonna be like the shop shelf. I just want this always to be ready to go when people come to the studio. They can see here, we can buy, we can chat. And then over here, they can look and see what I have available in the shop. So we putting the V pins out, we putting some of the Panda pins and the Mama's Guns pin. We gonna, we gonna lay it out more so people can see. So y'all might have saw from the how I turned my artwork um, into pins video then you notice this is not the back card that I use for it. This is the back card for the V-pins. Yeah, it's the back for the V-pins. But we actually ran out of the back for the mama's gun. And I think we literally only have... Look at me messing it up. So we literally only have like 14 of the mama's gun pins left. But I was going to order some more back cards from Vista Print, but I'm like, you know what? We just about to use these, okay? We just about to use these. Waste not, won't not. We not wasting over here. And so those are gonna be available for uh, the people who attend my open studio event. Actually, if y'all in Seattle, if y'all, out here local, okay, you are definitely invited to my studio. Uh, December 3rd, we're doing an open studio event. All the artists in my building, we're opening our studios up, make it available to the public. We do this twice a year in the summer and in the winter for the holiday season. So that's the other reason I'm getting my studio organized. Um, if you are on a newsletter, I'm gonna link all that information below. So make sure y'all join the newsletter. That's where it really pops off and I share all that info. We gonna finish getting the studio together. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio today and remember if you like this video like it and i'll see you all next week okay first of all it's dusty in here got your got your girl's allergies wild now